In this video, I'll take you through several easy steps to retarget animations. We'll use animations from a free bundle in Epic's Marketplace and we'll add them to a free Paragon character. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to Woolen.com and get coupons for our past and future courses. As a subscriber, you will get emails with codes that you can redeem to boost your career. Our newest course is about modeling using Unreal Engine 5. Get ready to create models without the need to use external tools such as Blender or Maya. Finally, don't forget to give a like, subscribe, and a comment to this video. If you have a subject you want me to cover in the future, please leave it in the comments. Let's get started. Let me explain really fast what we're going to do here. The first thing is create a third-person game in Unreal Engine, which is the base and most default uh, version of this third-person game. Then we're going to explain what are the IK chain names that we are going to use to create the retarget. The IK comes from uh, inverse kinematic. And we're going to explain what is the source for the third person that is presented in Unreal for the third person games. And from that, we're going to start to doing the next part. In the next section, we're going to download a new source of animation and a character. When I say a source of animation is that we're going to download a package, an asset that is on the marketplace, which adds a lot of different animations that we can add to any other third person character. And we are also going to use a Paragon character where we're going to apply these animations from the source content. And then we're going to create the IK rigs for both sources. For the rig and for the mesh that has the source of animations, and for the character, in this case, the Paragon character, we're going to create one thing that is called the IK Rigs, where we're going to use the, um, the chain names that we explained previously in the step number two. Then we're going to retarget the IK Rigs using a retargeter. And once we finish with this retargeting, we'll see that all the animations that we have for the source um, mesh for the source content are now available for the Paragon character that we also added. And then we are going to export these animations and get ready for uh, using it in our video game. The first step in this process is to start a project. So I'm going to Unreal Library. I will use Unreal 5.3.2. So let's launch it. And from these options, I will take games, third person, and this is the only thing I need. And now I'm going to add a name for this project. I'm going to call it retargeting and create. Once you have your project open, you will see something like this. And if you play your game, you will have the option of playing with this beautiful character right away. In the project, you will find this section. Let's open for a more space. You will find this section inside all content characters, mannequins, and inside rigs. And in particular, we want to pay attention to what is the IK, which is the inverse kinema kinematic mannequin. In this case, we're going to open this one that is here, which is the IK mannequin and the IK rig. Let's open it for a second. What is important to pay attention here related with the inverse kinematic is that this defines all the behavior of physics that you will need for a humanoid character. In fact, you can take any of these different elements that are that looking like a cube and you can literally move in different directions and you will see that the behavior of the rest of the character is consistent with the rest of the body of the character. And this is what is important about the inverse kinematic and of the, these structures, which are the inverse kinematic rigs. In here, there are several things that are important. The first thing is that you will notice that you have different bones in this structure. In fact, if you cannot see it like it is at this moment, you can go to character, bones and select all hierarchy. If you think that the bones are looking too big, you can also go here and make them look maybe a bit smaller. It depends on your taste. In particular, I like to use them very small because I have more space to see the rest. But 
Now I can go to the different bones on this structure to uh, identify different elements, different parts of the body. The first that you pay, you should pay attention is the root, and the root is usually defined from the from the floor until what will be the retarget uh, root, which in this case as well, look at, at here, we have the pelvis. Every time that you select an element here, uh, a rig element here, you will find that it looks in green. So let's say, for example, that we have the root here, and now here's the root, which is connected here. Now we have the pelvis, which is here in green. And if you go, you continue going, for example, on the spine, you will see the rest of the elements related to this particular rig. Now, the other thing that you uh, must consider, and this is always important to keep in reference because when we are going to use the retarget, you can see that here to the right, you have a denomination for different elements on the retargeting. As we wish to use this default mannequin, this default IK rig for the rest of the game, then everything that is going to be named in the new meshes, in the new rigs that we are going to add, must have exactly the same name so we can retarget that. And I'm going to explain that later on. For the moment, I just wanted to present you this and for you to have a clear uh, view of what we are talking about in terms of the rigging for a character. Let's go back to the third person map. The third step in this process is to find an animation starter pack which is provided by Epic Games. So I get into the Epic Games Marketplace, and here we are going to find Animation Starter Pack. This is the Animation Starter Pack. It is provided by Epic Games and is totally free. So when I click on it, and as you can see, we can use it in different versions of Unreal. But at this moment, I don't have it, or we don't have it for Unreal version 5.3, which is the one we are using. So I'm going to explain you how you can export it to the version that we are working on. First, we're going to create a project on the version 5.2 of Unreal. It could be 5.2, 5.0, or even previous ones. So let's go to library. Here I have 5.2. I'm going to launch it. Here I will select games. It doesn't matter what is going to be picked here. At this moment, I don't need anything because it is just a repository to move the content to another project. So I can select literally blank and let's call this project rep to move, repository to move. I don't need the starter content. Let's create. This is here. And now let's try to bring our content. So let's go back to Epic Games, library, marketplace, Animation Starter Pack. We select it, Add to Project, and in this case, I'm going to select Rep to Move, Add to Project. Here we have the Animation Pack ready to be exported to our new project. How we're going to do that is very simple. I'm going to select the folder here, right-click, and Migrate. Immigrate, I will select all the assets or all the elements that I want to migrate. Maybe they are not all. In this case, I want to take them all. So, okay. And now I will have to find the content project of the new project that I am creating where I want to put this anim starter pack. So let's go my folder. It is in C and retargeting. And inside retargeting, you have to put it inside content. It cannot be other folder. It can be a subfolder of content. But in any case, in all the cases, it has to be inside content. So I will select this folder. Let's go back to our original project. And now I have access to the Anim Starter Pack. Here is all the animations. With this, we finish the part of importing and preparing these animations. The next step is to select a character that where we want to add these animations. So let's go back to Epic Games. And in Epic Games, I'm going to find Paragon. Paragon creates uh, through Epic Games a lot of characters that 
uh, you can take and they are free and they, are, they have a very high definition. So let's take uh, one of these characters. For example, this one. Let's take this Murdoch. Murdoch, as you can see here, it's a humanoid character and I want to take control of it for, uh, for my own purpose in my project. As you can see, it is available for Unreal 5.3, which means we can add it directly to our project. Let's go Add Project, Retargeting, Add to Project, and let's wait until this character is downloaded. Now that we finished the download of this new character, we have it here inside the content in Paragon Murdoch. And inside this, you can find the heroes, and in particular in Murdoch, you can find their own animations. You can open one of these, for example, and see the animation for the particular character. Now, let's say that we want to add our own animations to this character that are not here on this folder. So, what are the next steps? In the fifth step, we're going to create two IK rigs. One for uh, the character that is going to be the source where we have the animations, and the other, which is the one that will receive this animation, where we want the animations to be applied to. So let's start with the source. The source in our case will be inside content, animation starter pack, U4 mannequin, and here I'm going to create a new folder. This folder I'm going to call it rigs. Inside rigs, with the right click, I will select animation. I will select animation, and in animation I will take retargeting and IK rig. For this moment, I'm going to use the denominations that, that we accord in accord use in Unreal, which is the IK for the inverse kinematic. And I'm going to call this mannequin because this is the same name of the source. So let's call it the IK mannequin. Now let's open it. In the IK mannequin, as you can see, we don't have a preview skeletal mesh, but at the same time, we know what skeletal mesh we're going to use. How we're going to know that? Well, first of all, I'm going to leave this one here. Inside the mesh, you have three different elements. You have the SK mannequin skeletal mesh, the physics, and the skeleton, just the basic skeleton. This is the one that we want to use. So I can select it, click it here, go back to the mannequin that we are creating, and now click here to assign that mannequin with a corresponding skeleton. This is the first step. Now, you should be careful about not confusing this mannequin with the mannequin that is by default on the game, on the third-person games on Unreal. What we want with this is to have just a reference of the names that we use here to transfer the same thing to the corresponding mannequin. Now, what is the first thing that we have to create? Well, the first part is corresponding to the pelvis, which is the retarget root. So let's go here, pelvis, select pelvis, as you can see here it is the pelvis. And now we're going to select set retarget root. In the case of the root, we're going to do something different. We're going to select the root and set new retarget chain. In new retarget chain, we're going to use the same name that we use on the IK mannequin, corresponding to the root. In this case, root. So as you can see here, now we have the root. If we go to the original, here is the root, and you can see it's the same one. And we have the pelvis, which is the retarget root. And the pelvis on this one, which is here. So as you can see, we're keeping the same structure for both, uh, for both skeleton, for both inverse kinematic rigs. Now let's going to make a match for the rest of the character. The next element that we're going to consider are the spine, which are all the elements related to the spine. It doesn't matter if you have more or less elements in this case. So I'm going to select the IK, and I'm going to start from the spine one until the spine three. As you can see here, in the character, these are all the elements of the spine. To select the last one, you just keep the shift down, the shift key down, and go to the other one. Now, right click, 
new retarget chain. And as you can see right now, Unreal suggests that this name should be the spine. And this is exactly the one that we want. So we're going to just add chain. And now you can see we have the spine that comes from the spine zero, spine zero one to the spine zero three. And here you can find we have all this spine. Of course, in this case, you have more elements. But at the end, in this case, it's going to be the same thing for you. Now, let's continue. The next one that we call here is the clavicle, and they call it left clavicle. So let's do the same thing. In our case, we're going to select the left clavicle, new retarget chain, and instead of left arm, we're going to call it left clavicle. Going to copy the clavicle to use it on the other side. Add chain. Now, we have the left clavicle. Let's go to the right clavicle. This is the right clavicle. Instead of right arm, it's going to be right clavicle. Chain. Fantastic. Now, let's go to the rest of the elements. And in this case, on real, it helps us a lot again. The next part is related to the to the arm, to the left arm or to the right arm. And as you can see, it is divided by upper arm and lower arm, and then goes directly to what are the elements of the hand. And as you can see here, we have it, 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 we can even go to the hand, which is another part of the left arm, and then we go to the different fingers. So let's go to the left arm and right arm. So starting from, I'm going to start from the left clavicle, we have the upper arm until the hand. All this section, I'm going to select right click, net a uh, new retarget chain, and you can see it is called already left arm. Perfect for our needs. And then we go and oh, let me do it uh, for the right to keep the same order. So we have after the clavicle, we have the upper arm until the hand R. Right click, new retarget, right arm. Now we're going to repeat the process, but for the elements of the fingers. So here we have the uh, index 01 until the index 03 and the L corresponding to the left hand. So I'm going to click the first one, shift click the last one, right click, new retarget chain. And this is exactly the same name that we used in the IK mannequin, left index. So let's add left index and repeat the process from, for the middle. In this case, it's going to be left middle. Then we have the pinky, left pinky, the ring, left ring, and the thumb, left thumb. And as you can imagine, we have to do the same process for the index of the right hand. Retarget, right index, perfect. Middle, new retarget chain, right middle. Pinky, new retarget chain, right pinky. Ring, right ring. And thumb, right thumb. And add. So with this, we cover the top part of our character. Now we need to go to the legs. So the legs, as you can see here, let me go, let me close the clavicles and the clavicle here. And then we have the, the leg that starts from the, uh, fr from the upper part of the leg, let me see it here, until we get to the, uh, to the foot goal in this case, or to the ball of the uh, of the um, of the foot, so let's go and do the same th the same thing here. So we're going to start on the thigh, and we're going to follow down until the ball. Now, as you can see here, you see that inside the calf we have another element. So if I select this one and the last one, then I will it will generate two different elements. For, uh, for the thigh going on till the ball. Let's do it. So you can see it, new retarget. So I'm going to call this left leg, which is the name that should have. 
And here you can see that it is generate, trying to generate a new one. I don't want to generate this one. So I'm going to cancel this one. And in the left leg, you can see that we start with the thigh L, but we are not finishing on the ball L. I want to finish in the ball L, but I can select it here and just saying I want to finish on the ball L. Now we have them, the entire leg. The same thing or similar we're going to, use, we're going to uh, do on the right leg. But in this case, I'm going just to select the thigh R and select new retarget chain, right leg. And once we have it, I am going to select now the ball R. And now I have the entire leg, as you can see here, a structure as I want it to be. Oh, I just realized there is one element that I missed, which is which was the head. So the head will start. Let me go here. Let me close the clavicles here. And the head will start on the neck and finish on this element here on the head. So new retarget chain. And we're going to call this head. If I remember right here, let me confirm, but I think it was called head. Yeah, correct. It was called head. So right click, new retarget chain, head. And now we have the head as well. Let me save this. And now we have the IK mannequin for what is going to be the source that we are going to use for the animations that we want to add to this Paragon character. Now, let's go to the next part. The second IK rig that we want to create for making the retarget is going to be what is the rigging for the, the rig for the destination. So inside Paragon, character Global Heroes Murdoch, which is the character that we downloaded, we have this folder and inside it, we have the meshes folder. I want to create here, I want to create a new one, which is going to be called the rigs, just as it's the same that we did a moment ago. But in this case, it's going to be for the Murdoch character. Inside rigs, going to open it, right click, go to animation, retargeting IK rig, and I'm going to use IK but I'm going to call this one uh, by the name of this character to, you know, to make a differentiation, which is important here. This case is going to call it Murdoch. So as we did a moment ago, when we opened the IK rig, we don't have a skeletal mesh to relate to. So we have to find what is the skeletal mesh that uh, we are going to relate to this IK rig. So we go to the meshes and in meshes you have here a skeletal mesh. This is the one that we are going to use. The others are physic acids, physic acids, skeleton, and a rig. But what I want is this skeletal mesh. So I can select here, go to the IK Murdoch, and then click here to assign the skeletal mesh. And here we have our Murdoch, all ready for now uh, creating the corresponding retargets, the change for the retargeting. As we did with the previous mannequin, the first thing we got to create, let's go to the top, it is the retarget root. So let's go to IK and let me close this thigh, thigh R, perfect. And in this case, the retarget root is going to be on the pelvis just as it was here. So I'm going to select the pelvis and set retarget root. Then root will be the root. Right click, new retarget chain, and we're going to use here the root. Now let's continue with the rest of, the, of this character. First, we have the spine. And as you can see, the spine goes from this until the spine 01 to the spine 03, which is here. Right click new retarget chain, and we're going to call it a spine. That's correct because it was the same name, let me put in here, that we use here. Perfect. Now the next one will be the left clavicle, but I'm going to copy this one. Left clavicle and right clavicle. Let's go and keep the order. So this is the left clavicle, new retarget chain, left is not arm, in this case I'm going to change it to clavicle. 
So we have the left clavicle and no, and now let's go to the right clavicle. This process is very simple. Sometimes it's about just repeating it several times until you get it. But the good thing is once you do it, then it's going to be very easy for you to add new animations if you have the same source. So the other thing is corresponding to the neck and to the head. It's going to put in here. Let me get a bit closer to see and yeah, absolutely. I don't want to handle the, the rest elements of the face. In fact, remember that you can go here in character bones and reduce the size of the bones in case you want to see things a bit more clear. So neck and head, new retarget, and this will be the head, just as we call it here. I don't know if you remember, we did it at the end. Here is the head, fantastic. Let's go to the rest of the elements. Well, the first one, let me close the head. I don't need the head anymore. And uh, yeah, shotgun, I don't need the shotgun. We're going to talk about that probably later. Let's go to the clavicle, and then we're going to the upper arm until the hand. Right click, new retarget chain, left arm, perfect. This is exactly how we want to call it. And on the right clavicle is going to be something similar. From the upper arm until the, in this case, it's going to be until the hand arm. But as you can see, we're passing through the weapon. So I don't want that. I just want to go to the hand R. So I'm going to select the first one, new retarget chain, add chain, and in the right arm, I'm going to select the until the hand R. And here we have the structure. Look at that. We're jumping all this section because these sections are related to the weapon. And I don't want to handle the weapon at this moment. I just want to handle the hand. Okay. Now let's go to the rest of the elements. Once we have the hand, let me go to this uh, section, to the clavicle uh, L first. Let's go to the hand. So in the hand, we have the fingers. So let's start with the index, new retarget, left index, perfect, middle index, new retarget, left middle, excellent, pinky, New retarget, left pinky, ring, left ring, and thumb. New retarget, and we have the thumb. Now let's go to the right side. And as you remember, we have the weapon here. We have to be careful to not confuse one thing with the other. So let's go to the lower arm. And here you have the hand right. And now let's go until the indexes. Here are the indexes. So index one, two, three, right index, perfect. Exactly what we want. Middle, new retarget, right middle, pinky, new retarget, excellent ring. Let's go to the ring and right ring, great. It is important that you check all the time that the names are exactly the same, just in case you have to change something on the on the name on, on how this is this is going to be uh, denominated. So add chain, fantastic, and with that we have the hands, fantastic. Now let's go to the thigh and to go to the legs. So the thigh. L, we're going to start with the thigh L and we're going to we're going to follow down until the ball L. As you can see, we're passing through different sections that we don't want to pass. So I'm going to select thigh L, new retarget chain, and at the end, I'm going to select the ball L. So here we have the L completely. And now let's go to the right. So I'm going to start with the right R, sorry, with a thigh R, new retarget chain, add chain, and we're going to finish in ball R. So we have all the elements that we need. We have the leg, good, I think, and yeah, no, that's correct. Oh, we have the, the left leg, all right, that's why I was missing it. And we have the different fingers, we have the head. Let me check. Yes, we have the head. 
the right arm. Excellent. That goes until the right hand. Okay, fantastic. Here it is. And we have the left. Everything is in order. Let's save. This is the second step. And save. Let's go back here. Now, the next step in this process is the retargeting. So I'm going back to the original rig where we put the mannequin. And now, right click, animation, retargeting. And I'm going to select now IK retargeter. And for the retargeted, I usually call it RTG. And I'm going to see the destination of what we are going to retarget. As we are in Mannequin, and I'm going to retarget, what was the name, Marduk, I usually said something like retarget Marduk. Now I know that the source is going to be this one, and the destination of this restart retargeting is going to be the Marduk. Let's open this. So here you have two things to set. The first one is the source IK, IK rig asset. And for that, we're going to use the one that we created, which is this one. So I can click this, go to retarget, and then assign it here. So this is the source. Now I have to set what is going to be the destination. For the destination, I can go until the bottom, I think it was. Mordok, here it is. And in rigs, I select the IK Murdoch. I'm going to retarget it and select here the IK Murdoch. Now, the first thing you can see here immediately is that one element is overposed uh, over the other one. So if you want to have a more clear vision of what is happening here, you're going to set some parameters around. So the first one here, you have the target mesh offset. So you can move the target mesh to one side and try to have a more clear perception of what is happening here. In my case, I want to move it on this coordinate. Let's say maybe 200. Could be, is usually a good number, a very good number. And now you can compare these two elements. The first thing that you can realize at this moment is that they are pretty similar. But if you are not totally sure, you can start uh, playing with the animations that are associated with the Anim Starter Pack. As you can see in the description, you can see that in the path says Game Anim Starter Pack. So this is part of the animations associated with this asset. So let's say uh, I'm going to use this crouch. And then you can see how the animation is working. And let me remove... On the character, I'm going to remove the bones or going to hide them. Known. And you can see here that the animation is looking really, really excellent. Of course, what will happen eventually is that depending on the weapon that you're using, you might be wanted to add another kind of animations or you want to make another kind of adjustments. But at this moment, you are literally checking that the animation that we created for this character is applying to this one and it's working very, very well. You can use any other animation. Let's say the, let's say the death animation. There you go. How you die. <laughs> it's really, it's looking really, really great. So as you can see, this process which will allow you to take any character, take a group of animations that are defined for a humanoid character, for example, and use it with any other character in your game. Now, once we finish this process, the next part is, okay, what, what are we going to do if uh, I want to transfer all these animations? Well, that's pretty simple. Let me stop uh, this and go to the show. To retarget animation, I think that what is the most important thing is to be very ordered. Like, honestly, in everything that you do when creating video games. I go to the Paradox Mordok, Mordok, and you have here the animations. And these are the basic animations or the base animations that this character brings. Now, inside animations, I want to create one folder that I'm going to call retarget 
and this refers to the retard. Uh, in fact, I'm going to call it retargeted, and this refers to the retargeted uh, animations. Now, inside retargeted animations, you can have extra animations that you will add to Murdoch that comes from different sources. And this is another thing that I try to do to keep the order of my work. The first is I'm going to say, where is the source of this animation? So as you know, we were talking about that the source was the anim starter pack. So I would say something like new folder and RTG anim. Well, in fact, I don't have to do it at RTG. I can say anim starter pack. And now I know that these animations are retarget from the anim starter pack. Now let's go back to the retarget Murdoch. If I want to move all these animations, you can select just one animation and say export selected animation. But in my case, I want to export all these animations. So I can use Control A and click on export selected animations. In here, I usually try to define at least a prefix that will allow me to identify what is the source of these animations. So I can say that this is a an uh, RT, I can say retarget anim or any other thing. But in my case, I can say just retarget to do not confuse this I aim space hip with what is going to be the retarget aim space hip. And this is the basically what I like to do. If you want to use another suffix to identify the name of these animations, yeah, you can do it as well. And now what I'm going to do is inside Paragon Murdoch, Characters, Heroes, Murdoch, Animations, Retarget, I know it's a long address, and Anim Starter Pack. This is the folder where I want to put all this retargeted animation. And then Export. And now that the animations are totally exported, now you can see here in Murdoch animations, you have your basic animations that comes with the, uh, with the asset as we download it from the marketplace. And now you have inside the retarget animations anim and all extra animations related to the particular uh, animations coming from the anim starter pack. So let's play one of them, for example. Here is one. And this is how you create, how you retarget animations. In particular, in this case, we took the source from the anim starter pack from the marketplace and we added to a Paragon character, which is called Murdoch. What we learned in this process was first, how to identify source retarget chain. And this refers to the original 3D uh, third person character that is offered by Unreal and how we denominate the different chain that we are going to retarget. Then we learn how to create IK rigs for the source and the destination. And I, with this, I refer to the assets, to the characters that were the source for the animations and the character that will become, that will use these new animations as a destination character. Then we learn how to create the retargeter. Once we have the IK rigs, we make them part of a source and destination retargeter so we can make some uh, changes and confirm that the animations are working correctly. And finally, we generate or export new animations for the destination character that we decided to add. In this case, it was a Paragon character. Thanks for watching this video. Remember to give a like, subscribe, and a comment. Don't forget to join our amazing subscribers community on Woolen.com, which is receiving content and coupons that they are redeeming to learn more about video games creation. What are you waiting for? I'll see you very soon.